Here is my blackboard. How do you know it's my blackboard? Well, I've just told you, haven't I? There we are. Good. Now, I'm not convinced of the efficacy of this blackboard, but um, as I purchased it for the tent, I thought, well, we'll give it a go today and see what happens. I didn't know it was orange, so please don't blame me for that, but it will have to be repainted. Um, um, I think it'll probably be modified entirely at some stage. Anyway, Lara. He wanted to know about the different terrains of Africa, so I thought I would show you. I have drawn a beautiful map of Africa, as you can see. Let me just label that. Africa. Here, and this is going to, I'm going to show you the vegetation first, and then I'll draw another one for another segment that will show you the actual sort of relief of Africa, if you like. That's the equator. I need some different coloured chalks, I feel. I feel that white is a little bit boring. Okay, so here is the vast expanse of Africa, and I will also give you, there's a lovely map um, in the book that I've been using to draw this that shows how big Africa is in comparison with a lot of the other countries of the world, and it includes them in its borders, and I'll show you a picture of it. It's quite amazing. All right, let's start at the top. So this is the northern parts of Africa, of course. Uh, that there is what we call Mediterranean scrub, so that sort of Mediterranean uh, climate. I mean, how else to describe it other than Mediterranean scrub? If you've ever been to the Cape, the Cape Floral Kingdom, or the Feinbos, that is the same kind of thing there. So they both experience Mediterranean climates with winter rainfall and uh, dry, hot, long, hot, dry summers. So it both at the extremes, there's north and the south of the continent. Then we have the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert there. And as we move down south from the Sahara Desert, it gets slightly moister, and this is now a region called the Sahel. And it is semi-arid. So it really is very dry indeed, and we have a similar place in South Africa called the Kalahari Desert. That's that there, and semi-arid, and which means it probably has a rainfall of less than 250 millimeters of rain a year. So that's less than an inch a year, I would say, is probably how we would define the Sahel. Then you go into slightly moister kind of um, what we'd call grassland savanna. And then you go into the much more familiar kind of landscape that we have here. And this is kind of woodland savanna. That's what you see around here. It's also what you see in the Mara. And although the Mara, that's the Mara there, although you see the Mara basically in the Sahel region, it isn't really. It falls much more into the woodland savanna. It's much wetter than most of the Sahel regions. Okay. And the last one, oh, was this kind of thing that you find over here which is kind of is kind of tropical forest that's there and then this bit here that is the forest of the Congo basin so on the equator unsurprisingly you find a huge amount more rain and in the Congo basin that's where you find the very thick rainforests so that there Lara and that there is Lara is what it looks like in Africa. Mohammed, you want to know where the Nile River is? Well, the Nile River is over here. There's the delta, Nile Delta, and it extends down there like that. That's where Egypt is. And of course, it terminates. You have the the white and the blue Nile, white and blue Niles. One of them terminates in Burundi, and that's where the source of the Nile is. Yeah, I think that's relatively accurate. Good. Hex Ranga, you say we have Ferrari safaris and now we have the McLaren blackboard. Yes, thank you. I'm, I fear me that the, your reference is lost on me, but <laughs> I'll take it. Yes, I know it's a car. Thank you very much. I'm just not sure why this is related to it. Kirsten's trying to explain it to my slow brain. Oh, the colour. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, the colour is very, uh, is very sort of McLarenish and uh, not to be repeated. And indeed, if my boss is watching today, she will be mortified that I've put that orange on screen. Come back in here with me. Craig has outdone himself. He's managed to find the most gorgeous little instar of a cricket. <laughs> 